Next in the etchy going formation is the pseudocardium zone. And uh, pseudocardium, which roughly translates in Latin to uh, sort of like a heart. Um, if you look at it from a side view, uh, you can see that the nature of the, uh, the shape of the valves looks like, um, it looks sort of heart shaped. And even though the shell can be somewhat eroded and fragmented, it's pretty well distinguished by the thick nature uh, of the shells. Uh, we have some more examples here where we might just have one valve, but you get a sense for how thick it is compared to other uh, bivalve or clam fossils. And in the interior of the shell, there's some distinctive impressions that are made uh, from the muscles that used to be present when the animal was alive. So those are muscle scars. And then you can see another look at this heart shape um, from the side view. So that's pseudocardium, and when we get to that zone in the Etchigoin Formation in the Kettleman Hills, uh, we usually do find large numbers of those shells uh, in that zone. Um, there can be other fossils too. Uh, one of the common fossils in the Etchigoin Formation, actually in all the zones, uh, are sand dollars. And so there are some examples here. Um, of sand dollars uh, that we find in this zone. Um, there can be other kinds of clams as well, you know, ones that might be larger in size and even more robust. Um, others might be smaller in size. Um, this is a particular genus that's characterized by a very um, equidimensional shell um, where it's kind of uh, the, just the same um, shape uh, and same height and same width. So we see quite a few of those. And in the interior of these shells, it has a very distinctive pattern along the hinge. Uh, and so that helps us define uh, this particular clam, which is called Glycimerus. And it also has distinctive muscle scars there. And our goal, again, in introducing you to the fossil zones of the Kettleman Hills is to show you not only the fossil for which the zone is named, but also in showing you here in our collections uh, some other kinds of fossils that are associated uh, with those horizons in the Kettleman Hills.